<laughs> Thank you for joining me for today's video. Lately, if you've been watching the shorts feed, you've seen that I've been talking about dream interpretation. This is something my clients really ask me about, and I'm often flooded with messages about what does this particular dream mean, or help me, Sarah, I'm dreaming about this or that or whatever. So I thought you might be having the same issues. So of course, this is my take on the energy around dreams and dream meaning. And because of that, it won't resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate with you, no worries worries, just pass it on by, and I do hope you find what you're looking for. Today, we're going to talk about dreams surrounding weddings, proposals, and uh, marrying a stranger, marrying someone to save them, being unhappy about a marriage or proposal, being in an arranged marriage, or remarrying someone that you're currently married to. Take this with a grain of salt because there is no universal one-size-fits-all interpretation for dream meetings, even though you'll find books out there or websites that say this is definitely what it means. Yeah, no. So some of these video clips have shown up as shorts in the shorts feed, but I'm sure you missed them. And some of this is uh, brand new stuff. Be sure and watch all of it so you don't miss anything. When we start talking about dreams, it's a really broad subject. There are so many different types of dreams, from predictive dreams to subconscious dreams, which are the most common, to lucid dreaming and, and such as that. What I'm going to be discussing in today's video is the likely meaning of subconscious dreams, and problem solving dreams. So let's dive in. Dreaming that you're getting married but yet no one is showing up for the ceremony or the reception? This can be a terrifying dream, especially if you are actually about to get married. It could be just that, a fear over no one arriving for the wedding. If that's not a possibility, if you're not actually engaged or about to get married, it could mean that there is a problem with family dynamics or that you, your friends, and your family are not on good terms right now, perhaps even arguing or fighting. What does so, it mean if you dream that you're getting married? Well, if you were recently proposed to and you are planning a wedding, it probably just means that, that you're thinking about the future. But if you're single and there's no prospects of a marriage anytime soon, it could mean that you're very fulfilled and happy with your life and that things are going quite well and that everything is just uh, moving right along. So it's a really good sign spiritually if you're dreaming about getting married. What does it mean if you're dreaming about getting married to your present spouse? Well, usually in subconscious dreams, the mind is trying to work through a problem or an issue. It's trying to understand it or it's already worked through it and it's trying to bring the information forward to the conscious mind. And it does that in pictures and images and themes. So if you're dreaming that you're remarrying your current spouse and you're happily married or happy in the uh, dream anyway, it could indicate that you have come to terms with a problem or an issue and your subconscious is trying to tell you everything's going to be okay, everything's going to work out. If you're dreaming that you're marrying your current spouse and you're unhappy about it, that could be an indication that there are deeper problems in the relationship that maybe you're overlooking like, you know, those red flags that we all kind of ignore. Maybe your subconscious has been counting those red flags and it's trying to tell you that there is a definite issue. Definitely meditate on this, write it out, journal it, and talk to somebody if you need to about the situation. What does it mean if you dream that you're attending someone else's wedding? Well, it could signify spiritually that you're worried about someone else's problems or someone else's well-being. It really doesn't have anything to do with you, but yet you're making their problems important in your life. So it could be time to step back and see if you are overly involved in other people's affairs. What does it mean if you dream that you're marrying a stranger? Yikes. It could depend on how you feel in the dream. If you're excited about it, it means you're integrating new parts of your life and your subconscious is really happy about it. But if you're unhappy or afraid or apprehensive, then it could mean that you're having trouble adjusting with not only your subconscious feelings and thoughts, but also things going on in your waking world. What about an arranged marriage, whether you are dreaming you're getting married or the arrangement is just taking place, could signify that you feel like your life is out of control or out of your own hands, that other people are making decisions for you and that you don't have control over the situation. So it's a good idea to check in and see if this is true. And if so, take back your control. Have a question about the meaning of one of your own dreams? Leave it below in the comment section and I'll try and include it in the next video. 
you're marrying someone to save them, whether it's because they're going to get deported because of a visa or whether it's going to be something like a demonic outside forces. So what does it mean? It means that probably you're invested in other people's welfare more than your own and that you're giving too much of yourself. You're giving too much of your time, your resources. And uh, yeah, and you need to probably step back from the situation. It's okay to want to help, but you don't have to sacrifice yourself, your life, your love, your happiness. I hope you enjoyed this mini video. If you did, let me know in the comments section below or any thoughts you may have about dreams and dream interpretation. It's a really fascinating subject, isn't it? Let's thank the patrons for making this and all the videos possible. And if you found value in this video, why not consider subscribing or becoming a patron? Stay tuned for the next video. Reiki blessings!